I mean, the V8 feels great. I mean, I guess the, the initial impression would be, okay, it's a V8, it's got less power, so therefore, um, you know, it's not going to be as quick. But, you know, this thing's got 500 brake horsepower. Um, it's lighter than the W12 car. So although it's got less power, it, it's, it's lighter. So, you know, it feels, the punch off the corners is amazing. And with the, um, you know, the eight-speed gearbox, um, it just keeps accelerating, keeps going. And the engine just sounds amazing. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a great fun to drive, a lot of fun. I think it's just a different beast. I think the V8 is a different beast to the W12. You know, it's, um, it, it, the performance of the car is, is, is incredibly strong, um, but the, the handling of it is, is sharp. You know, it, it's, it feels like an out-and-out -out sports car, um, which is what Bentley's all about. But at the same time, it's got the luxury of the W12, but it's got the performance uh, with the V8 engine. So it's a win-win situation. And I think that anybody who drives this car will feel what I felt today and just, you know, was thrilled to be, uh, to be in, in it. Obviously, it's a smaller engine, but it's it's got the close ratio eight-speed gearbox, which is which is fantastic to drive. Um, you know, really responsive, and uh, it's certainly not lacking power. With 500 brake horsepower, there's plenty enough power there to uh, to have a lot of fun. And um, yeah, it's just been great. I've been able to push the car to the limits and, and, and get a feel for the handling. And like a typical Bentley, you know, it, it, it's great. It's confidence-inspiring. You know, you want to you want to push it to the limit, and, and the car just wants to take more. So it's been great fun. I really enjoyed my time here today. I mean, the first time I jumped in this car, the first thing I noticed was, was the sound. It's been some, some time since I was back in a, in a GT and I jumped in and this obviously was the V8 and uh, the sound of it was just, just like a roar. And, you know, as you're going up through the gears, um, it, sounds, it sounds amazing. I think, you know, we all love, you know, the sound of a car is just as important as the performance in a lot of ways. And certainly, you know, the sound matches the performance and uh, it certainly puts a smile on your face when you're accelerating and you hear that, that, that V8 light up. So uh, it's really impressive. Yeah, it's been great to be back uh, here at Silverstone and uh, to drive the Le Mans winning 2003 EXV8 car. Um, every time I see that car, it brings back such great memories of, uh, of, of driving at Le Mans and, and being back um, with, with the Bentley family. Um, we've had so, such a great time. Well, this year I obviously want to uh, return to the American Le Mans series, the championship that I won last season, and try and defend my title. Um, obviously, I'd love to be able to come back and do that, but um, also, want to go back to Le Mans, make a return to Le Mans and try and capture my second win um, after the, my win with Bentley in 2003. I think Le Mans is a, is a unique race. I guess it's like the Indy 500 or Monaco in Formula One. It, it, it's one of those places that has just got such an awe about it. And um, you know, certainly for me as a driver, you know, to, to be able to win there was an amazing experience. But you know, to win it in a Bentley, in a British car, uh, was, was fantastic. I think it's something that, that, that almost can't be topped. Um, but it's a race that you know, I would love to go back and be able to try and win again and uh, that's certainly what I'm aiming for uh, this year.